Okay, uh, we're here to talk about the Descent Level Editor. Uh, I've got version 1.12.28 and I'll be talking about that version. Um, first thing you want to do after you download this and install it is to open the program and you'll be presented with this uh, series of windows. Over to the left you've got your, your texture panels. Your The bottom here is your uh, a lot of your menu and your main work area. Uh, this is your stage where your map and your cubes will be located. A um, couple menus up top. These are kind of repeating themselves. They kind of more or less uh, direct you to these tabs down here. Same here uh, and with the movement that we're going to talk about with the mouse. A lot of these will be uh, deprecated I guess actually uh, you'd call it. But um, uh, Let's see. So the first thing I want to talk about is the, the settings tab and it's in order to build anything you need to tell uh, the program where your Descent 1 and Descent 2 pig files are. And uh, that's down here. And it needs to know where your missions folder is going to be. I have the GOG games file from uh, back in the day. And uh, let's see, I just click on um, uh, one of the file folders there and find your file, pop it in there. Hit apply. Uh, now remember, you need to uh, move this up. This has a little bit of a uh, screen redraw issue. Uh, nothing that a, <clears throat> a scroll of the mouse wheel won't fix. But uh, <clears throat> like I said, pull this up and hit apply, and you should be ready to go. Now, uh, as far as how your screen looks, uh, I have this set up, of course, as the horizontal, as you see there. You can set it up vertical, float floating, vertical spacing. You can mess with those. Uh, under the renderer, I recommend you use third person uh, just because it's a lot easier to use. You can try anyone you want there, but uh, the setup I have is third person, just depth perception, uh, perceptions off. And this is kind of important the, the globe. Uh, crosshairs look like this uh, here, and you can lose that in a big map when you're looking at all lines. So I like to use the globe because it has the color and it stands out a little bit better. <coughs> Okay, under editor, I really don't use this too much because you can move it in different units and view it in different units. That's you know, and then undoes. That's I left it at default. Visibility, I left all this at default. And miscellaneous, you can fill this in, put your name in there, uh, and just hit apply after you're done with all that. Okay, now in this, I also want to talk about mouse movement. A lot of people, well, a few people I've talked to have uh, said they've been discouraged from this program because of the way the mouse or the movement around is getting to see the map, zooming in and out and whatnot. Um, it's barely, fairly uh, set straightforward. All you need to do is hold uh, your pinky and your ring finger of your left hand on control and shift most of the time. Just kind of lay it there and just move your mouse. So with just control pushed on my left hand and just moving the mouse and not clicking anything, I can you know, move it around this uh, map axis. Um, <clears throat> you know, if I use my scroll wheel, it will uh, zoom in and out. If I hold shift down, then I move the uh, map along with the axis, so the axis and the map move together. Just the control, just the map. Map and shift, you get map and sphere. Or axis. Okay, so practice doing that. Um, that helps a lot. I mean, if you're if you've got a big map and you've got multiple uh, multiple cubes here, you want to get down to that cube there. You see how when you pull it there and you pull shift down. What I just basically do is uh, I hold the pinky down to move the map where I want to get in the general area, kind of where I want. Say I'm going to get to that pilot again, and I let go, and then I hold the pinky and the ring finger down on uh, shift and control and I turn it a little bit and I see that I'm, I'm a little far away from that so then I let go again and then I pull my pinky down and I move my box closer to that again with with pinky and ring finger on shift and control I turn back and I see that I'm actually a little bit off so I hold pinky down again and move it a little bit shift pinky shift so you know that's how you you know you hold your pinky down and you just lift shift up and and down to get to get to where you want, basically. Okay, and practice doing this. By the way, to create a, a long line, just hit your insert button, 
on your keyboard and it'll add new keys. And what I did up here was I went to the view shading and got rid of the shading because there are no light sources here. So it's of course going to be dark. Your ship is the light source in this cube. Um, so let's um, turn the shading off. Okay, so that's mouse movement. And um, that's uh, really important, the setup and learning how to move the mouse. I think those two main things, um, setup you can't avoid because you need that to work, but the mouse is something you use all the time. So I would get used to that. Just a pinky in the ring finger on shift and control, leave it there and just use your mouse to, to view around. That gets rid of all of these um, zooming ins and stuff right there. So you don't have to worry about that. And it gets rid of, uh, I think, any of the other moving. Uh, there's some other. Anyway, okay, the other topic I want to get on to is, is uh, how do you start a new map? And we'll get to that in just a second.